Hey everyone, we're going to do a quick tutorial on the Railway Wallet powered by Railgun. So after downloading and opening the application, the first thing you're going to need to do is create a wallet. Very simple, just click on the create button and then write in your wallet name. And after you write in your wallet name, click create. It'll generate the wallet for you. And after you've done that, you're going to have to save your seed phrase in a safe place. And after you write that down, you can click next. You can see that you're going to be generating a couple of public addresses and then also a private address powered by Railgun. And after reviewing those, you can go ahead and click finish. And it's that simple. After you've clicked finish, your wallet is now created and you now have a public address and then a private address. You can't send funds from a MetaMask into a railway wallet private address. So what you need to do first is you need to send it to your public address and then shield the funds. We are gonna do that in this example with our Polygon address. So in this process, the first thing we're gonna do is click receive and then our address will appear on the screen. You can see here that I've just received 18 Matic. So now let's get into the process of shielding this and making this balance private. I'm gonna go back to the home page where my Matic balance lives and I'm going to click shield. And as you can see here, I need to enter my shielded address. So I'm going to go back to my home page, grab that shielded address from the receive function, copy that and move back to my public balance so I can input that address to the address that's going to receive the funds after I shield them. I'm going to input that there and then I'm going to put the amount of Matic that I want to receive. And I'm also going to set that as the balance that I want to receive. After we confirm all this, we're going to go ahead and click next. The wallet generates the network fee. And after all of this is confirmed, we can go ahead and click shield. After we click that, the wallet will go through the process of shielding the tokens from your transparent balance into your zero ZK address, meaning your shielded balance. And after this is sent, we can go back to the wallet homepage and see that our Matic is now shielded and living in our zero ZK address. Now that we have some shielded Matic, let's unlock the power of the railway wallet. We're going to go into the bottom section and click on dApps where we can see the railway decentralized exchange. We're going to click into that and we're going to want to swap some of our Matic for DAI. So what we do is we click the amount of Matic that we want to swap and then we see that we can swap it into DAI here. There's also a number of different tokens that you can swap the Matic into. We're going to click review order and then it gives us a warning that some of the tokens for low liquidity might have slippage above 2%. After that, we click I understand, and then we'll go into the process of generating a ZK proof to run this private exchange. After we generate the ZK proof, we can submit the transaction through the relayer, and then we will be swapping the tokens. After that swap is complete, you can now see that I have $8 of DAI because I did a swap between DAI and Matic, and that's about it. If you want to use the Railway Wallet, check out the link in the description and you'll be able to have access to private DeFi and private sends on Ethereum, Binance, and Polygon.